So we're in town at Untied LA right now. Sneaker Con just happened and they got a bunch of shoes in. I was coming to do a little bit of shopping. I seen all this stuff. My boy Tim rolled up. Next thing you know, I'm like, let's shoot a video because there's a lot of crazy stuff. A lot of early unreleased sneakers as well. Right, all I'm gonna say for you boys today is like we got some real heat for you. First look on YouTube. We're about to get into it because there's some real fire today. Yeah, there's uh, there's some good stuff on this side over here. Where should we start? Honestly, it's just like a mess, but Honestly, we'll bro, figure it out. Let's just kind of like go with the flow. So like okay. whatever box we see first, I see a red Nike box on top. I saw you with that one. I think that was probably to these. Okay. You got the duffel bag right here, or the, the duffel bag, the little tote bag. Probably like the most anticipated sneaker. Bruh. One of the most anticipated. Looking forward to this job. What do you think about these? I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna say for the vast majority of people, most anticipated sneaker of the year. Yeah. Uh, it's been a while since these have dropped. Satin bread ones. I think it was like 501 pairs or something like that came out. Right. On the original release. It was a men's drop and now it's a women's release this time, but they're doing extended sizes. So hopefully I can get them. I know for a fact they will have your side, but me, I'll be trying to have to try to get my size. It's rough, so. What makes it a women's shoe though? Like what? Well, honestly, that's funny because they have these here. So look at these two <clears throat> shoes side by side. Exactly the Look same. at the cut. Look at oh, the toe box. the cut's a little higher. You see the toe box? So the toe box it makes what, what makes the women's pair. The shoe is different. Uh, I think also with it being more of a general release compared to like the, I wouldn't say PE, but the exclusive release. Right. You can see like, look at the insole. You got the diamond stitch right there. Mm, more premium materials. Leather on there, okay. everything like that. And then this one is just going to be regular on the inside, red right here. I don't really think people are going to care, man. Ankle's this is going to be a little bit different. I, I, I'm already calling to do Chew of the Year. Bro, these are... <laughs> They're fire, bro. <laughs> shoe of the year, I think yeah. so. Yeah, the embroidery, everything on this shoe is really, really nice. I'm gonna actually be trying to pick up a pair uh, to give you guys an exclusive review soon this week. I don't think people care anymore, dude, if it's a women or a men's release. I mean, look at the Off-White 4, bro. Yeah. Everybody loves that shoe. They say that's the best shoe of all the Off-White. Right, and it's a women's sneaker, so. Okay, so this is the first one. I see they got some big stuff over here. Should we get that? Yeah, let's get way? into it. Okay, so the other day I was at Ross, right? I pulled up, I was charging my Tesla the other day, and I go into Ross because I used to do Ross videos, and I see these sitting on shelves. The only J's in the store. What size, size is that? Size 17, bro. This is a 17 right here, too. The That's Kraft crazy. Air Jordan 4, the True Blue Air Jordan 1. And they got these in a 16, the Playoff 13s, 13. bro. That is insane. If you're a big dude and you're not going to Ross, wake up. What are you doing? Go well, to Ross. Also, too, though, one thing I love, like, here at Untied, they have stuff. They they work with a lot of pro athletes. So right. they got a lot of ball players that come in. So if you're just randomly shopping, like, you'll see some NBA player in here just shopping. And then they got to make sure that they got shoes for people like this. So Crazy. I understand why this would be a part of their new arrivals. This one, you wanna go through this one? Dude, this one? okay, so this, this one, one is my new sneaker that I'm looking forward to the most. As the Latino, you know that we've been getting some great Air Jordans. So to keep the, the legacy going, we got ourselves a J Balvin box in the sunset colorway. Go ahead and do the favor, man. Look okay. at the paper, look at the paper. It fades, like it's like a gradient on it as well. This is my size, by the way, too. You might have to hold it, you might have to lock it down. Bro. I might have to lock these You might in. have to just get those right now. J Balvin Air Jordan 3. Here, go ahead and take this one. Dude, these are so freaking sexy, bro. Look at the, okay, the tongue, that's a gold jump man. Yeah. That's not a yellow jump man. That is a gold jump man. Look at the hang tag right here. The J Balvin logo, absolute heat. Dude. The gradient on the back of it is probably one of the sickest designs. The leather. I've ever seen. Get real close. Can you see like the leather, how tumbled it is, the how leather, soft it is? It's not, it's, okay. Don't trick the people because I don't think it's the best tumbled leather we've ever seen. But it's nice though. But it's better than a regular, yeah, it's better than a regular three for sure. I say like, I always compare these to all my threes. Okay. I'm like, it's an Ama 3 with some color. Right. You know what I'm saying a little right. bit different, but it's very similar. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I love the Ama 3s and I, for those reasons, I love this shoe too. hundred percent. It's kind of <laughs> like an off-white eggshell type of colorway, clear bottoms. You think this is gonna yellow? Yeah. But it's because it's got that milky outsole, mm -hmm. I think it's cool. And I think even if it did yellow, it would still look cool for this right. type of shoe. Yellow milk. So <laughs> we that doesn't even sound good. <laughs> okay. Let's do let's hit some PEs real quick. Cause I, sure. I know we got some of our SBs right here. That's some early. So those neither the satin breads and the uh, J Balvins haven't came out yet. I think they did a shock drop on the J Balvins. Got a Gator 5 right here. What you think about the Gator 5? Crazy man. Like I would be scared to wear these because I feel like they could get dirty easily. What size is this? This is a 13. I already got these in my collection. I actually picked these up from on time like That's crazy. a couple months ago. That's crazy. How much are these worth right now? Uh I think it's like 
I want to say like 4,500 bucks. That's wild. Somewhere around there, 5,000. So you think like an athlete just comes and sells his pair? Yeah. Crazy. That's how it goes. Man. The gator on the bottom? This is a fire. fire shoe for sure. We'll yep. Make sure you guys got detailed shots as we go throughout the video. Um, another, oh, here goes another one right okay. here. Gator Sixes. Gator Sixes. I actually got these from them Very in the nice. past as well too. This what year did these drop, shoe. do you know? This was last year? Last year, okay. Yeah, this was last year. Cause they, last year was a year of the Sixes, which is another great shoe. What do you guys think about the Gator Sixes? Let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, this shoe is same, kind of around a four or five thousand right, dollar right, right. mark. I feel like Untied is like the king of PEs, bro. I've never seen more PEs in my life than whenever I'm here. Yeah, yeah, it's always I feel that. PEs. I feel that. So this is definitely another good shoe. Oklahoma Sixes. You want to check those out? Okay, Oklahoma Sixes. You know, you got the maroon all around. Got the Jumpman on the tongue right here. Uh, pretty cool shoe, man. It's already kind of. It looks kind of aged a little bit. Uh, they do that on all of them. It yeah, looks kind of vintage. That. Yeah. Is that yeah. the style? Mm-hmm. Very mm -hmm. nice, very nice. I got uh, I got these two in my collection already, so <laughs> I don't need these. This man buys but everything. If they got some PEs here that Somebody I do have him. that I need. Somebody stop him. This is a good one right here, okay. These right here, man. I always get excited when I see the Oregons. I don't know, growing up, man, like the PEs yeah. weren't too big when I was young, but the Oregons were always what everybody talked about. Yeah. I know it's nothing for you because you're from Oregon, right? Yeah. But like. When you see that O, dude, it's just so clean. It's a fire shoe. I think it's a fire shoe, man. It's funny because this one, I can't, correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to say this was one of the first Oregon PEs that had like those bright kind of neon colors on it. Mm. And when they originally made these, because this was like, man, how many years ago? Five years ago? Since? Right. It was a while ago. And uh, people were not liking it. And now you look at more of the Oregon PEs that are coming out and all of them have the neon colors, the, the dunks, the 14s, the this, the that, like they're all doing that. The Air Maxes. So it's interesting how they've shifted with the coloring. This compared. is what started. Yeah, I think it was, mm. but I, I can't. I gotta remember because you know the different eras uh, are Oregon Duck PEs, but I have these in my collection as well. So have you ever worn them though? <laughs> yes, I have. Mm. I actually had a couple pairs. I wore them, and then I just got a dead sock pair back. So mm. those ones I just got. Now, recently. when you wear them, is it like a? Ooh, hoo, hoo. I don't think they're ready for that yet. What is that? Hold on, I don't think they're ready for this. No, Man, dude, those wait. are crazy. That's a like classic bro. right there. Those are crazy. I've never seen those before. Really? Okay, Gator ones. Oh, you're not gonna show them? Oh, you said you wanna wait. <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah, we'll wait, we'll right, wait, right, wait. Right. Gator ones, the texture on this is crazy, bro. Yes. I'm trying to think, it's like, you ever had like a shower mat like that you step on in the shower so you don't slip? That's kind of <laughs> like what it reminds me of right here, this little texture. Or you call it stingray material. Stingray material, okay. <laughs> so you got the gator crock right there, vibe right there around the tongue, or around the toe area. It looks like and it's then, just like a super luxurious shoe, bro. Yeah, no, every part about this series, this pack is amazing. For each college that they did, I think they did a really good job on the materials. And uh, some of the colorways, like the Oklahoma ones, those are similar to the bread toe Air Jordan ones, mm -hmm. just a little bit different on the color shade. And then obviously the materials are way more premium. But for me, for Air Jordan ones, especially knowing that these are gonna last a long time, this is a great shoe. And that's why I have these in my collection already. Crazy, man. <laughs> what a college guy. I love all the college all right. PEs. Did we go through? Oh, we didn't Let's even bust go this those. one open. Let's bust this one open because okay. I'm excited. I can't, I can't hold you guys from these too much longer. Three, two, one. I'm just going to do it. Dude, oh. these are freaking sexy, bro. This is a classic I mean, right look here. at the way that it shines, bro. Yeah. That is crazy, man. With, dude, this, this is just like visually looks insane. It's like the Green Lantern or something. To me, this is my favorite Oregon Ducks PE dude, of all time. I agree. Look, dude, look at how shiny it is on the back. It's bro. it's it set the tone and it's been hard to beat. There's been a lot of great Oregon PEs over the years. For me, in the memories of buying and selling this shoe back in the day and them only being like 800 bucks and now they're thousands of dollars and all that stuff. One of the greatest Oregon PEs of all time. One of my most favorite or Air Jordan 4s of all time as well. I was gonna say, have they ever done that where they like make the tongue white and the rest black? Cause this looks freaking sick. Yeah, the contrast is crazy. Honestly, is I don't crazy. think they've really done that on a Jordan 4 besides these. And if you put black laces in these, it looks mm. crazy too. It's a clean look. That's wild, dude. So let's keep Definitely these out of the box too. That way they sure. can see what we already ran through. But Definitely an amazing shoe. What do you guys think about these? Let me know down below in the comment section. Is this the greatest Oregon PE of all time? To me, I say yes. What do you say? I gotta go with the fives, man. I the think fives? the fives, I like the five. The fives are iconic. Okay, keeping it with the fours though. Let's open it up. Bro, I feel like I can't even breathe on these right now. Should we wait on those? We gotta show them, dude. We've been, too much heat, just too much heat. Okay, dog. 
This is a small size too. Yeah. This is crazy. It's crazy because every time, like, I feel like I'm getting spoiled because every time you come here, there's just like heat sitting. This is fire. This is a, what, $40,000 shoe yeah, right here? Yeah, something like that. 20,000, 20,000 right there. You got the dirty mochas. That's crazy, bro. These things are crazy. Everybody loves Travis Scott's. You know, they got some purple ones and some other brown ones over there. What do you think when it comes to the, the Mocha Travis Scott 4s? Because I like this one a lot just because it's like that dirty version. Mm. Even on the purples, the black with the purple right, is right, my right. favorite. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Some people like the white midsole on them. I get it. And then there's different shades of browns because there's multiple versions of each. But these ones in particular are like low key my favorite. I do I wish like, they would have did a black tab on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like he has to release these, man. I feel like he has to. It's it not gonna happen. It would go crazy. It would go crazy, dude. This would be... Shoe of the freaking, I think people would. Decade. Yeah, because the kids, all they care about is the fours right now. Yeah. So, so to release some Travis Brown fours. Okay, what's the best Travis Scott Air Jordan four, or Air Jordan that has released out of the GR? To be honest, I just like the, I just like the ones, the original Mocha ones. Low dude. top or high, high top? top? I'm going with the four still. The baby blue, the Oilers color. I have those two, yeah, yeah. I think that's still the best one so far. You think so? Yeah. When I saw those, I had to buy them. I, I like the OG cool. Mocha low. Yeah, I mean, to me, it's just the ones, like, you saw him wearing it in the Fortnite. Yeah, skin, yeah, yeah. In the McDonald's collab. That's, like, his shoot. That's, like, his staple. Right. Yeah, I feel that. It makes sense. People are going crazy. We'll leave these out on the box. Super sick, though. Yo, if you guys are enjoying this so far, let me know. I already got one shoe on my hit list, and it's in my size over there. This one and this oh, one. Oh, you want to? Okay. No, no, we can no, no, do that's that fine. No, let's that's go ahead. Grab this one right here. Ooh, All right. damn. All right, let's see what's in. We got a one, I think. Okay, very good. Uh, no more PEs. Michigan one. Michigan one. Kind of the same materials, right? Just different colorway. 11 and a half, damn. I need this shoe still. I don't have those. He need, you need the shoe? I want it, I want it, I want it. I was gonna say, you need the shoe. Man, this guy's a different level, bro. I need He's a different it. beast, bro. He's a different beast. It's leave, crazy leave too, because, so we can it's make crazy sure. too because I feel like if you're wearing these, like, only people that are gonna know are gonna know. But this is a fire shoe. But like, you still like feel like you need it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause you're not like trying to flex. You're just trying to do it for like the history and. Yeah, I've been collecting. I you know love I mean? shoes. Right. Like, but this like would, this man, would go bro. crazy with fits. Right, it would. I'm a 60 year old man in his eyes. <laughs> nah, these will go crazy with fits though. You can't tell me you wanna pull off a fit with those. That's cool. They look like, to me, it's like the Wolverine uh, ones. Pretty well, nice colorway. That's basically like, the name of the school. Right, right, <laughs> but yeah, anyways. Same colorway. Another one right okay, there. Okay, very nice. All of the shoes have the same like materials, but they're just different colorways. On the six. Pretty sick, yeah, it's pretty yeah. sick. So when it comes to this pack, they did all the colleges, same materials, just uh, different colors for the schools. So did and they then, release like all the same year? Or? Yeah, so they do it every, so like each season when they do uh -huh. PEs, it'll be like the year of the fours, the year of the one, like last mm. year was the year of the one lows, right? So we saw all the low tops, the sixes was before was that, this year? the fives. Uh, I heard, I heard it might be the sevens. Okay, okay. But we shall see. Dude, if they had year of the elevens? Bruh, man, the thing is, I love that idea, but at the same time, I don't like it. Why? Because I feel like the 11 should kept, be kept sacred. Like, mm. there shouldn't be that many variations. Yeah, they, they started putting out way too many 11s, With the bro. general releases right. and everything, I'm like, right. stay with the classics, mm -hmm. and like, let's just hold that shoe sacred. You right. know what I'm saying? No, 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 I agree. It's my favorite I don't know if that's like sure. gatekeeping or that's whatever, but secret. I just feel like it's such a dope shoe that it deserves that respect. 100%, 100%. You know what, I'm what do we got next? This one right here. All black box, very I nice. Is this. that a Phantom? No, it's a different shoe in here. It's, it's a replacement box. It's a replacement box. I kind of want to save this. because For the last, like for the very last one? I got a feeling. We got like four more. Okay, that's fine. We do it. it, we do it. Oh, okay. Either this is a 14 or a 13, I don't know. Dude, that's crazy. But I have to check and see because I need these. That's crazy. Before the universities came out, this was like the one that everybody wanted. What? It's your size? It might be destiny, bro. It might be. <laughs> this man comes to LA to film videos and he spins more than he, <laughs> than he makes, he makes coming out here. <laughs> He's just like, hey, subscribe <laughs> to the channel. Watch all those ads. Yo, the YouTube channel is bad for him. He doesn't make money. He just Stop spins. Stop the show.com. He spins everything. Yo, I'll let you go first, cause. Bro, okay, so this, I, okay, I don't know too much about the history. Forgive me, OGs, all right, respect. But <laughs> this came out before, way before the University Blues. Mm -hmm. So this shoe right here is really, because to me, the University Blues went crazy. Right. Everybody wants right. them, but this was the original right here. Mm -hmm. 
how do you feel about them releasing the University Blues after this? I feel like it's good that they do that, and I like that they do it in a different variation. Right. You know what I'm saying? And right. some people say they like the color blocking in the University Blues. And they're numbered as well? Yep. And then it says football right here on this tongue. But mm -hmm. so when they do these two, on they switch one. the patches, whether it's for the football team or the basketball team or whatever. So they have the differences on those shoes. So each team gets their own PEs too? Mm-hmm. What about like volleyball? Um, depends on the school, okay. but like at Oregon, you'll see like they'll start doing it for other athletes yeah. too. The mascot? Like, uh, I don't know. I, I feel, feel like, like the mascot, mascot needs his yeah. shoes. He has to have he his has shoes. To have his at shoes. least at Oregon for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheerleaders? Uh, I don't know about Color that Color guard. I haven't seen that one either. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Color guard. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is a 13. Dude, this is all you, you don't have them yet? Is this turning into a cop do video? Do you, do you have them yet or no? I don't. I've had them in different sizes, but I got rid of them because they weren't my size. And now there's a pair right here. I don't know, man. You're, dude, this guy's something else, bro. You These are icy, bro. Everything. You okay, everything. I'll get back to you guys on this one. How much would you spend on these, though? How much uh, would they ask? I don't know, bro. These are like 8,000. Oh, my. Is my guess, but I don't know. We'll see. Dude, that's a down payment on a house. <laughs> a little house. A little house, yeah, <laughs> but a house, regardless. Uh, yeah, I'm going to think about these. Okay. Ones. I'm going to work right. a trade or something. Okay. You know I'll be working sure, trades and sure. stuff, too. Okay, I think these are... It's Press the SVs? Shoe. It's all the same shoe. Let's oh, get no, straight into it. These are different. Born and raised. Yep. Ooh. These are fire. Dude, the quality, instantly, the insoles all super good, high quality. The leather. Oh, this is dope. Born SB. Look at the freaking air holes on this it's thing. It's like the paisley with like the pink. It's got the white laces, the sail laces. On the turf. Flat laces, fat laces, blue laces. Like that hologram type of swoosh on there. Different details. Man, we might have to grab these this for it. This is a super high detail. quality. Yeah, I need to do this a detail. This is a super high quality dunk, dude. Ooh, the leather sock liner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, these are fire. Yeah. Leather is nice on these, suede crazy. Why do you feel so hard when you push it in? Which part? The insole. The insole? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah, a little bit. It feels super like good quality though. Yeah. Nah, this is a fire like, shoe. These are gonna so, wait, born and this raised. is an SB though. Mm -hmm. So these are meant to skate in. Mm -hmm. That's probably why they're designed so tough. Yeah. I think uh this shoe definitely deserves its own review just for the story and the history. RIP. You know what I'm saying? There, there's a lot of a lot going on with this shoe. So I think we I, I need to get these just to do a review for you guys. If you guys want to see a review of these, let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, this is this is a fire shoe, bro. I mean, Crazy. I've seen uh, I've seen the shoe before, but I've never taken the time to like look mm -hmm, at the shoe mm -hmm. like this. So right, I like it. bro. There's literally details all over the shoe. It's crazy. crazy, like even how they did this right here, right? Like matching right there yep. on the on top never of the toe before. box. Got the little switch up here on the turf behind the tongue. Yeah, there's a lot of cool details. So Incredible. we'll we'll uh, get into that a little bit later. This is the last one. Let's get straight right here. into it, man. Do your thing. Yeah, this is good. Okay, so. Here, I want to check, make sure there's any other. I heard this one had packaging. Oh yeah, jujitsu. So it comes in a oh, brown wow, bag. Oh wow, that's crazy. And then, Dude, that looks like what I get my tacos in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> there's a uh, oh all the laces right here. So you know what these, you know what these laces are for? Ninja Turtles. No. What are they? This ever? is a jujitsu Nike SB. Oh no collab. way. So you know, and like you get the that's different belts. Crazy, you start with the right? white belt. So you can match it with your belts. Yeah. So okay. it matches with the different levels mm. of belts as you go. Mm. So you would you would probably be a white belt because you're a beginner. Sure. Okay. I'll I'm take a it. black belt because I'm white. Okay. The <laughs> white's pretty. The white's pretty sick though. I'm not gonna lie. If I had a choice, I'd probably put the whites on it. But this blue kind of pops too. I don't know, man. Yeah. So this part all rips cool. out, and then there's different colors underneath the shoe. What so do you mean like, it rips out? Like you could take the materials off, and there's a bunch of different That's colors. Fire. That's for fire. this one in particular. So another great shoe, and honestly, this is like really affordable. Mm. Like, you know how some SB collabs like this, you buy, right. I was like 500 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're like a few hundred bucks or like 200 bucks or something like that. Like, I don't think they're like super so crazy. You should be buying these instead of the $8,000 shoes. <laughs> or I could get both. <laughs> okay, so. A lot out of, of all these here. Out of all these shoes, what would you buy? For me, I'm, I already know. Actually, I think I might. Easy. <laughs> we got this right here. I'm going with this one yep. right here. Yup, okay. What I can only pick with? one pair. I'm, I gotta pick two. Oh, you I, gotta pick two? I like these two. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh. Out of all these pairs for sure, I already know wifey's gonna want these. I'm probably gonna pick up a pair as well. But we got the Satin Jordan 1s 
for sure these are on the list for this year. Okay. Definitely first pair I'm buying is these when they drop next, this, this, this weekend. I think so. Uh, like that. And then if I had all the money in the world, I don't know, would I spend 20 Gs on this? 40 Gs, nah, probably not 40 Gs. <laughs> nah, I'll get an I8, but like, for sure these two. <laughs> for sure these two. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm rocking with these two right here. Yup. And then yeah, I'm sure, would you want these? Would you want the satin reds? My wife, Alexis, behind the camera. Would you like these? I like low tops. I know my mom loves these. Yeah, your mom's gonna my definitely mom, rock those, bro, for sure. Love you. Yo, before we go, should we tell them? Tell them. You're pregnant? No. <laughs> Gee. My mom, I got her the all of Travis Scott one lows here on Friday. And we went to sneaker con, Saturday, Sunday. Uh -huh. They flew home Monday morning. Okay. Why did my mom get home? And they stole all her shoes out of her luggage. You're lying. Bro, they stole her, her silver fours, her all of Travis lows, and her uh, union purple dunk lows. That's crazy. You gotta be kidding me, bro. So we're, we're probably gonna make a video about that too. But who stole them though? The the people that work at the airport. They took them out of our luggage. That's so yeah. So weird, they're bro. under the plane. I've My never heard of that before. There. They didn't take them. You can sue the airlines. I don't know. They're figuring it out right now. But that's, that's a whole crazy, nother story. Dude. I hope you guys enjoyed this. They got a bunch of heat right here. Again, check out Untitled LA. I got all their Instagram and website and everything down below. If you guys see anything you like here, if you're interested in anything, hit them up. Don't ask me. And uh, what else? Oh, use the discount code DNA Show. That'll get you guys free shipping on all your orders from Untitled's website. And I'm going to have to cop some kicks. I got to see what I can get, but uh, <laughs> we're going to make something shake. He's appreciate like you for having me. $8,000 shoes, appreciate, my man. Appreciate you for having me. No, no, thanks for <laughs> being on of with course, me. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> appreciate you, bro. All right, bro. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Hey, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware of. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA I was made for it, it's in the DNA I was made for it, it's in the DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today OG status in my